Hey, what's going on, everyone? Apologies if my wife in the background is making a bunch of noise. She's playing Animal Crossing. She's playing Animal Crossing. Apparently, it's really important. So, anyways, we're going to be going through our review. I actually thought about teaching you guys how to reverse a list in another way, but then I figured I'd just wait and stop being a troll. So, we're just going to go through this notes, which you can find up on my GitHub, Caleb Curry, uh, GitHub slash Caleb Curry. And the very first thing is inserting into the middle of a list. So all you do is you say insert, you put the index and the data you want to insert. So we'll go through this output starting right here. And you can see Wednesday goes in the correct position. If you want to take a day out, all you have to do is say remove. In this case, we removed Saturday and it's gone. We also don't have Wednesday anymore because I took it out of there. So since we're not inserting it, we just left it out and removing Saturday deletes it and it affects the list so you don't have, it doesn't return a new list. You can also remove by index. So we can say Dell, pass in an index such as zero, which will get rid of Monday, thank goodness. I'm just kidding, I actually like Monday. Where most people are like, oh, Monday, like Monday is the day to get fired up and you know go into work and get stuff done. All right, anyways, you can also use pop. And the magical thing about this is it's gonna return the thing that you popped off of the list. So we pass in the index one, that's going to say Tuesday. So we can use that and say, you removed Tuesday. We assigned it to a variable in this case and then used it later. You can also use del with slicing. So in this case, we remove the first two elements, index zero and index one. I've said this probably 37,000 times, but this is not inclusive. So index two is not included, it's exclusive. So doing this now and you're going to get, you're gonna get Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Next up, we can remove the last two elements, starting two from the right, and go to the end. And that's going to leave us with just Thursday because we get rid of Friday and Saturday. So if these are our work days, now we're just down to work in one day a week, which is pretty nice. Next up, we're going to remove all occurrences in a list. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to say backpack.remove to remove one of them. And heck, why don't we just do this in a loop? Looks like we have backpack.count, but I think a better way to do this would actually be while pizza slice in backpack. That way we only have to go until we see one pizza slice. We don't have to count every single occurrence. I'm gonna run this just to get the most updated output. This first remove does remove a pizza slice, but only that first one there. If we wanna remove them all, we use that loop, which does in fact remove every single occurrence of pizza slice. This is not the most optimized solution, so I teach you a better solution in this example right here. This one we're using a for loop and we're actually using a copy so the indexes don't get messed up. And when we do this, we remove the element from the original backpack variable. So the items come from the copy and we remove them from the original backpack. And I'm gonna add a print in here so we can print backpack here just to make sure it works. And you can see it does. Now we also have a list comprehension version. So for each item in the backpack that is not equal to pizza slice, we're going to keep that item and we're gonna replace the elements inside of the backpack list so it stays the same object, we're just changing the contents and we can print this to make sure it works. And it in fact does work. Next up, I teach you how to reverse a list. So we're gonna go back to this original backpack list with a bunch of pizza slices and the easiest is to say backpack.reverse. This will modify the original list so it doesn't return anything, we just say backpack.reverse by itself and then we can work with backpack just by using the backpack variable. So that will put it in the opposite order, as you can see here. Now, we just went through some other versions of this. I know I went a little bit crazy here, but we're gonna learn all kinds of different ways to reverse. This one, we're actually reversing manually, so this is a reverse algorithm. You could generalize this to work with any programming language, and in fact, if you were working with other programming languages, that might be a good exercise for you. But pretty much, we're going to iterate through half of the elements, and if there is an odd number, we're just gonna leave that middle one where it's at. And we're gonna do that by using integer division, which is actually required for the range. And then we're gonna take the item on the left and the item on the right. And we do that by saying negative index minus one and we swap them. That's how you do a swap in Python. You might need to use a swap variable or a temporary variable if you're using a different programming language. So we started with A through H and now we end with H through A. So it seems to have worked. Next up, we talk about a reverse iterator. I use this to our advantage to also reverse the list. So for item in reversed data, which by the way, this doesn't make a copy, it's just gonna go through that list one item at a time. And then what we do is we actually append it to a new list called data reversed, 
and then we compare the two right here and you can see it does in fact reverse that list which is these two outputs right here. Last up we have reversed using slicing and in this situation you could just slice and just make the step negative one and you can replace the contents of the list using slicing on the left hand side of the assignment and then print data which gives us this value right here. So it goes originally A to H and now it's H to A. So those are a bunch of different variations of reversing. If you need to reverse nested lists, I'm sure there's a solution on how to do that on the internet. Just do a little bit of research. But for now, I think we've covered a pretty good basis. So that is your review of all the stuff we've talked about lists and reversing lists. And now we're going to move on to a new section. You're probably sick and tired of lists, but good news. We're actually going to talk about them even more. But in this time, we're not going to be talking about reversing lists. We're going to be talking about sorting, how sorting works in Python. And we're going to end up applying that to lists. So if you're not sick of lists yet, by the end of this next section, you probably will be. But I do encourage you to get through it because as soon as it becomes annoying and you're kind of tired of doing it, that's when you're probably going to be learning the most and using the most concentration. So we're going to get through this and we're going to have a good time. Ain't that right, Aaron? It's true. I can't hear you. Come closer. It's true. Stay with it, y'all. You're doing all this editing for no reason. <laughs> There we go. She has spoken. Don't quit, guys. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.